Hello guys, welcome back. Um, so in the previous tutorial, we were able to um, connect our app to the database. Okay, we we're able to fetch um, items from our database and then we connected everything, um, our app to the database. So this data, this data is now coming from our database. Okay, so what we are going to do now is um, make sure that um, the way we are passing the model around is not good because the scope model or the state scope model is a state management okay um, and the state management is supposed to help us not to pass um, data around okay so looking at this we created an instance of the food model and then we, we assign it to the model of the scope model okay and then we also pass it to the main screen as an argument so when you go to the main screen that's where we are receiving it and then from there instead of just fetching or using it here we also pass it to the main uh, i mean the home page so that we can use it at the home page and then we come here and then we are using it at the home page this is, is not a good approach when you're using the scope model so what we are going to do now is to do the proper way i mean do it in the proper way so i'm going to create a main model here okay um sorry um let me bring it back so i'm going to create a main model here and then inside our main model it will just be a normal class okay main model here and then we will extend the model okay and then when we extend the model here what we are going to do is, uh, let me import this one. We are going to make this class a mixing class. So what a mixing class does is, a mixing class has the ability to use other methods, I mean methods of other classes, okay? So for example, uh, a mixing can use um, the methods in this class, like fetch foods, okay, add food. They can use those methods of this class. So when we come into the main model here, we are going to make this a missing by saying with food model, okay, the food model. Let's import food model from here. Um, let me import the food model here. Okay, food model, yeah. But then after importing, you can see we have an error here saying that um, class food extend model. Um, I want to see the error. Not uh, the class food model can't be used as a mixing, okay? Because it's extend blah blah blah. So what we have to do here is um, there's a solution I check online and it's coming from here. Okay, so I'll leave this link below and then you we can read about it. Um, it's a, it's is something on uh, medium okay someone wrote about it on medium um so the solution for this is to come here in the app level okay i mean the main folder inside the main folder in the app level and then create a new file called analysis analysis option.yaml okay um and then i copied the code from there to this side so you have to put this one there after create i mean creating that file you put this one there save it and then in the prospect.yaml you come here also and then you paste this code here so you can write it okay you paste this code here okay or you can visit the link and then um i mean copy the code from there okay so you can see that now we are not having the errors so this main model here can now use any method inside this um, this particular class, which is the food model. You see, so we can use we can create an instance of this main model, and then this main model can use the fetch foods from this class. Okay, um, so let's go to our app here. Let me close this too. Okay, we are done with this one. So when I come here, close this one too. And inside here, instead of creating an instance of the food model, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance of the main model. Okay. And uh, I'll change this one to main model. Let's, let's change the names to make it more reasonable. And then we are going to pass this one to the main model here. And now, instead, we are going to accept the model here. And also pass this one to the main model. We will change that. Okay, don't worry about that. So when we go into the main screen now here, okay, 
main screen here now we are not accepting food model we are accepting the main model here okay you can just now take this one out and then when we accept the main model this name should make sense to model okay and we can because in our app here we are setting okay model and then we are passing and then we say main model model okay we are accepting that model there and then now when we come here we're not going to pass this thing to this side okay and then you can see previously we have to switch between the others i mean home and the others before we can see um the the changes in the <laughs> the changes in the home page okay so what i'm going to do is now we can just go ahead and fetch all the products okay model not fetch you see even though this main model doesn't have the fetch model i mean fetch foods we are still able to fetch because a mixing can still use the the, the methods of other classes so this main model is using the food model objects i mean functions okay so when you go into the food model here you can see you're able to use fetch foods on the main model okay so that is it and now when we go into the home page we are not going to accept any model there because that's not what we want we don't want to be passing data around we want to stop this time we are fetching it in the main screen okay but then when we come here we want to use the foods that has been fetched from our database okay so one way we can do this is to simply wrap um this for um, this scaffold rigid scaffold rigid with the scope model descendant or we can just wrap this single thing around so using the scope model you can take any widget and then wrap it around uh, wrap it with the scope model descendant and then you can use any um uh, data that you want to use okay so for example you can just go ahead here and take this one code here and then create a scope model descendant here um descendant here okay and then let's see what we need to pass we need to pass a builder okay and in the builder we need to pass in the build contest yeah contest um we also need to pass in the model model here and we also have to pass in a widget okay i think this is how it's supposed to be done and then this thing should work okay so there was a code that we cut out we can return that code here okay now wrapping this whole thing in a scope model give us the ability to use any data from any plus that is extending the model so when we come here you can see this food model is extending um the model okay and then we have this data which belongs to this class we have this list of foods here which belong to this class but because we are wrapping um the column widget with our scope model descendant we can easily use the the foods in our system without passing it here okay so we sorry we have to change this to main model okay um and then let me just import it so now with this one here we can just go ahead okay and then call the model and tada we have it we have our code and everything will work as fine um okay let's just refresh the whole thing yeah because we've, we've done some changes and uh okay so sorry this is a generic type we have to pass this here main model yeah okay and let's refresh again and see what we get um, let me do this from this side and let's see um we still have the same error and i'm beginning to wonder why you're not getting this okay I'm saying could not find the correct scope model could not find the score scope model yeah we model this one to the main model model mm. Mm. okay let me just turn this to the model 
and uh, it doesn't work. It's supposed to be main model, so I don't know why. Scope modify. Scope model. Um, let's go into our main here. Oh, yeah, sorry. You have to change this. It was in the, you see, we changed this from the food, uh, food model to main model. So we are not supposed to use food model here. Sorry, guys. That's why we are getting the error. Now we can take this one out. Okay. And then save. And I think it should work now. Yeah. So we have our code now and everything is working as before. So now you can see that we've reduced the amount of, um, We've reduced the way of passing data around, okay? So when we come here, um, where is the main screen? You only pass the model to the main screen. And then that's all because the reason why we even pass this one is because we have to find uh, an endpoint where we can uh, fetch all our, pro I mean, our data and then use it, okay? So that's why you even pass it to this, uh, in this state, we have to pass it and use it in the in this state so that we can actually because you can't wrap the uh, the in this state with a scope model. So we have to pass it to the main screen. I mean, you have to pass the main model to the main screen and then we use it here. But then all these other pages don't need the main model. To, we don't need to pass the main model to it before we can use it. So when we go to the home page, anywhere that we want to use data we just have to wrap um we just have to wrap a widget with the scope model and then we can use the data so guys that is it for this tutorial i'll see you in the next video thank you